What are you doing right now? Is it something that you really love? Millions of people at this very second are doing exactly what makes them happy. But wait a minute. You spend a big part of your life working. And any job has the potential to drive you insane. I think this is a good time for a break. But, of course, there's a bright side. And the best thing. Time off. As a matter of fact, the way we work influences new trends and behaviors in society. And if some things are new and different to you, and to everyone else, it's good to know that the ones who really captured the idea are those young millennials. Otherwise known as Generation Y, G, we, globalists. Okay. We know you heard about this. They represent a new workforce in the global market and have high aspirations. Half of them already have or plan to open their own businesses. Because of their digital, liquid and collective mindset, they are affecting the way we produce and work in the future. Sounds complicated? Actually, keeping things simple was the motto that baby boomers worked by in the 60s and 70s. Rules were a lot clearer back then. The workspace was confined to the office, responsibilities were individual based and very specific, and you knew exactly the right time to start and finish your day. At that time, after the World Wars, the institution represented the security that everyone was dreaming about. Because of this, it made total sense to be a company man and respond well to linear and hierarchical structures. But be careful, once you chose a career, it was a decision that would pretty much last for the rest of your life. Older workers would teach young ones because putting in long years of experience was essential if you wanted to grow within the company. Having a job would guarantee social status and was the first step towards marriage and a first kid nine months later. Work didn't mix with personal life. No bringing work home. But baby boomers worked a lot. It's been a hard day's night. And this had to do with keeping a deep sense of discipline and honor. Day-to-day -day sacrifices guaranteed that the family would be taken care of. And they knew that a big payoff would come even if it would take a while. However, Generation X redefined the time relationship between work and reward. Super confident, extroverted, very competitive, and doing everything in their power to achieve quick growth, these guys were always on the lookout for better offers. A profitable idea could easily put them into a leadership position based on meritocracy without taking their experience into account. As they searched for more ways to personally stand out and be professionally independent, they relied on degrees, including MBAs and PhDs, to get ahead of their competitors. In this more individualistic style of thinking, a nice wardrobe and a business card could help them close better deals and expand their network. Being in the right place at the right time is what would define the work schedule. Business time was extended into the happy hour. This mix between personal and professional life turned a workaholic into someone who was admirable and even sexy. In the, grace of your love. the winner was whoever could get onto the board of directors in the shortest time possible. I can do anything if I can just get a chance. And thus immediately live out the pleasures of this achievement. But today, the journey's a little different. It really seems more important to have fun on the ride than to make it to the final destination. Ironically, millennials, those unpredictable kids, are the ones perfectly translating this new vision. 
In a time when pleasure determines professional accomplishment, they know, like no one else, how to recognize opportunities that link passion with work. It's not right, but it's now or never. The creative economy, new professions, an entrepreneurship boom, and the new collective power are painting a brilliant and never-before-seen scenario. No wonder millennials are so impatient. The speed at which they connect with the world sets the pace for their work relations. Projects that only will make a difference in the long term just don't stimulate them. And they need constant feedback so they can feel that their efforts are being recognized. So? It's great. I love it. The traditional pyramid inside of companies doesn't really fit with these anxious young people. They're excited about working with older generations, but only if the relationship is on equal terms and with mutual respect. It's all about exchanging knowledge, no matter your age. Being that millennials find empowerment in discovering things on their own. It's natural for them to diversify their channels and seek out informal types of education instead of simply picking out a major. In the end, professional commitment is not just a norm. It's something that naturally comes from truly engaging experiences. Besides having a job, it's become more important to have a purpose that can be carried out in different forms at the same time. Mobility, shared workspaces, home offices, and the possibility to create your own hours make work always present, anytime and everywhere. For that reason, people with different work styles are having more freedom to tap into their talents, and even those with introverted personalities can transform their ideas into million-dollar businesses. Yes, you can stay in your pajamas as long as you maintain an updated and attractive profile across your social network. As you can see, flexibility is really the way to go. Millennials are fascinated when they get involved in works in progress and feel motivated by learning new skills. They're excited about an open and forever beta world where testing and messing with something unfinished is the only way to create the new. Millennials need more than ever to feel autonomous and they're exhilarated by the challenge to develop and participate collaboratively. They can change direction quickly and don't let attachments hold them back. It's about living better in the present with no illusion that the future can be controlled. That's because of one simple thing. Whoever adapts more easily can evolve along with the changes. And if you feel overwhelmed by everything so far and are looking for the right answer, well, sorry we're still going to ask you another question. Are you doing what you love right now? No. So start. The clock is ticking and your life is in a hurry. Discover your life's purpose and make it happen. Loving your work will put you in motion. It's the only way to lead a fulfilling life every day.